One of the most often asked questions I get is how to identify poison hemlock, Conium maculatum. This plant is not only a fast spreading invasive species, but also one of the most toxic plants in North America. So it is easy to understand why people do not want it around. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to identify poison hemlock during the colder months from late fall to early spring, tell you why it's important to identify it during this time period, and towards the end, I'm gonna throw in a bonus fact that is really crazy, so be sure to stick around for that. Let's go find some winter poison hemlock. Poison hemlock was long thought to be a biennial, or a plant that takes two growing seasons to complete its life cycle. In the colder parts of its range in North America, those places with heavy winter snow accumulation, it does tend to act as a biennial. In warmer areas, such as here in Kentucky, it often acts as a winter annual, and seeds that germinate in the fall will produce plants that flower the following spring. No matter where it is found, poison hemlock is often the only large herbaceous broadleaf plant that remains green all winter long. This makes spotting its basil rosettes super easy. A basil rosette is simply a circle of leaves emanating from the root and staying close to the ground. The leaves are large, many branched, and finely divided somewhat resembling fern leaves and have smooth hairless stalks that have purple spots or coloration towards the base. Once you learn what to look for, poison hemlock rosettes are easy to spot. If you hate invasive species but love native plants, please be sure to go pollinate that like button. Poison hemlock is often found on roadsides, in ditches, along creeks, and in disturbed sites. It is a prolific seeder, and a few plants can turn into a field full of hemlock in a short amount of time. This brings us to why it is so important to find poison hemlock in the wintertime while it's still in the rosette stage. Simply put, it is easier to deal with when it is young. Once poison hemlock starts to bolt and produce flower stalks in late spring, it is much harder to control. If you would like to see a complete video on poison hemlock control, please let me know down in the comments. Some of you are probably wondering, how did this toxic, invasive plant get to North America? Was it brought in accidentally like so many other invasive species? Nope. It was brought in as a garden ornamental in the 1800s and was marketed as a winter fern because of the bright green basil rosettes that are so prominent during the winter months. So basically, the same trait that allows us to track down poison hemlock in the winter so we can kill it is the same reason it was brought to this country originally because people thought it was pretty. Funny how that works out. If you'd like to get a jump on finding some of the woody invasive species on your property, check out this video and be sure to get out and explore nature in your backyard. 